really excited to be sharing this video with you because it's actually going to be the first time that I am taking our BMW out to a car show, car meet, park off. So really excited. Cars driving nice and I think I'll be telling you a bit more about what I have planned for the near future in terms of for the car and obviously for the channel. Uh, you're probably asking yourself why I've been so quiet. So reason is actually I've come to realize that I like to share other people's stories and as much as the challenges and the good that has come out of uh, this build i think a lot of people would like to know you know what, what it takes to actually build a car and the event the, the eventuality of us eventually uh you know big along with that getting the car to be running uh yeah i'm always getting messages on instagram and and all the pages for this car of people asking you know what questions about where did I get one, two, three, and all of that. So I just thought, you know what? Might as well share my story and also get other people to share their stories uh, about their bill. So look out for that in the future. I'm gonna be looking out for you guys who want to share your stories and uh, about your bills. Hit me up and I'll gladly assist in telling your story. With that said, guys, I'm quickly gonna go get some gas for the car. Uh, it's been standing for a while. And then after that, we are off to the park off okay folks uh just going to pour a young 300 there uh actually went just up went past uh the spot there it's uh mr big bites park off and sure it looked like it was uh nice and packed so really think we're gonna have a good time today so yeah let's just uh finish this off and then we go back there and uh have a look at what they have for us Okay guys, so <laughs> it was a uh, uh, nice one there, nice one Mr. Big Bite, uh, yeah, nice turnout also, and funny enough actually I didn't record it, but uh, as I was leaving, the car didn't want to start, basically the starter wasn't turning, and then uh, Rowan uh, assisted me there, just gave me a bit of a push there, not sure what the issue is, but yeah, thanks Rowan. So yeah guys, uh, it was a really nice event. I'm uh, gonna just be taking a short drive and then uh, hopefully Woo. hopefully we can just uh, talk more about the car hmm. yeah guys so let's find a spot uh, and just uh, have a chat Hey guys, so um, here at the McDonald's, hooking up with Disetsu, and uh, there he is in uh, the beautiful white. Show Hodzi, <laughs> white E82125. So, yeah, we're just going to uh, maybe go hook up with some other jeans with their cars. Not really sure where we're going, but yeah, I'll probably take you with. Hey guys, so uh, unfortunately, as you can see, it's a different day. I uh, had some technical issues that day, so I ended up not um, recording anything. So yeah, this is uh, actually, I think what two days later the BM 
is uh, behaving i must say it's really really hot guys it's really really hot and i just figured i need to get the aircon working here yeah. uh, everything is there we just need to i think connect it and see because yeah i think we're gonna be having a very hot summer so anyway guys um i'm going to meet up with sichaba uh and sichaba's got an e36 328 uh, so we're going to meet up with him and then we're gonna go through to bmw <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> What you say? What you say? What you say? What you say? Gents, a chai, a chai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother. What you say? <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I get. You know, I think we go fish in my cabin. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it, John. Okay guys, yeah, so that's a Chaba. Uh, so far he hasn't really said nothing much, but yeah, <laughs> guess he likes the car. Anyway, uh, we're going to be heading off to BMW Joburg South, and then I think that's where everything's gonna be happening. So yeah, stick around, and hopefully the video continues to be a very uh, exciting one. Just went in. I saw something very special in there. Let's just go check it out. So we just hopped into the XM SV SAV. Yes, the sports sports activity vehicle. That's mm -hmm, what they call mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. I must say, guys, it looks very. You know, we've been saying all these new cars, futuristic, futuristic, but it just doesn't end. Like this car looks very futuristic. It, uh, it almost looks alien, man. Like it's so yeah. you you wouldn't miss it on the road. No, like you see it from not. three kilometers away, bro. This is yeah. insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like even even more, you know, you you hop into the car and then that theme just continues. You know, it, I mean, look at look at this right here. This is very something different. These open openings here and all of that. You no, know, normally it's just some one solid space. And you know, look at the ch check this out. Like this is like popping out. Yeah. You know. So it's like the, from the previous version already it was different and now it's more different. So it just it's never ending. What do you think about this question? Right. Um, I'm a big, big, big Beamer fan, you know, yeah. and, you know, I think there's there's two sides to to what I think about the car. One, I think um, I'm being uh, very generous and getting where BMW comes from because SUVs are the future. Like yeah, yeah. buyers want SUVs and this is the correct decision to make in this market. You know, yeah. people want their cars to look crazier because, you know, the BMW is getting a much younger yeah. uh, buyer. And this is perfect, man. You want something that stands out that doesn't look like just every other SUVs because SUVs tend to look alike. And this one, like I said, bro, like you spot this from like three kilometers away. Um... It's very, very powerful. 480 kilowatts, man. Zero, zero to 104.3 seconds. Dude. And, and, and it weighs 
what, 2,000 kilograms or something? 2.5, pl- yeah, 2.5 you know? tons. Yeah. It's insane. It's, it's, so yeah, it's insane. In that respect, as just a statement, you, I don't think you can beat this. Um, yeah. You'd have to go supercar or something to beat this. Yeah, true. But on the other side, you know, as, as, a, as a big Beamer fan from like the sports car and driving side, you know, there's 2.5 tons is a little too much, you know, for for what it is. And no, no, it, not for what it is, but I think for what BMW has positioned it as, as their like the Halo M car. Yeah, yeah. Because I yeah, don't yeah, think yeah. it would have like the dynamic handling of like an M2 yeah. or something, you know. Yeah. And again, this, uh, from what I've seen, people who've, who've driven it haven't driven this yet, but uh, a lot of people say like you, the performance isn't, really mind-blowing from like a x6m or x5m it's really it just feels like um a trim level up okay. so but there's still the red label coming so that that has like i think another I, I 100 think, kilowatts i think on, on that note right we'll do a follow-up yeah. once you've driven it yes just to back that statement up yeah. and, and really give us you know that feedback for sure yeah for sure hey or maybe we can do a video with fire yeah, yeah. of course It'll yeah get, get inside lovely. and actually drive this car and experience yeah, it but yeah, yeah, yeah. um i think uh, i'm not a lot of people aren't fans of this car i think i i am to to a decent level but obviously you know as a driving enthusiast and that i think oh it's a little too heavy but yeah i think for making the, a the other thing is we need to also look at the target market exactly you know? i think for the targeted my, for the target market, mm. the car, you know, has and does everything that they need. Definitely. Chances are, it's you've got a family. It's a, it's a family. It's yes. a SUV. It's a family car. You like mm. to travel, you know, maybe sometimes take it not off road, but, you know, especially with mm. uh, uh, crazy roads, you know, yeah. potholes and stuff. Having something like this makes a lot of sense. Nah, if you've sure. got the, the, the money for it, I think, you know. So I myself also am not a huge fan you know, mm. of, um, how can I put it, SUVs, right? But unfortunately, or fortunately, that's where I see all the manufacturers are going. Yeah, yeah. People are, you know, bit by bit, we are all, you know, getting into it. But we are more, you know, we are more into your, your, your the, sports cars, the sports cars uh, the low, you know, the three series, you know the two, type thing. Yes, yes, but yes. I guess we're not the target market sure. for it. But for the right people, yeah. it's, 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 it's looking all right. Yeah, but yeah, guys, it's insanely cool. Though I, one thing we can't argue about is that it's so cool. You go anywhere, everyone is looking. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, enough enough about this car, Chaba. What's yeah. been happening in your life, Baba? Yo. <laughs> so in between, um, uh, not making so much content. Uh, Same I think I've guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I've I've spent more time driving and and racing and. Yeah. That's been epic, you know. I uh, took the championship in the in the GR Cup. Yeah. Um, this is wild, dream. Well things, done, man. Well done on that one. Thanks so much, my brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it, things that you know you don't think about in your wildest dreams, and uh, that's that's amazing. Everyone I've met and uh, connections I've made, and just the experience of it all in South African motorsport has been insane, and. The cars that I've been able to driven to to drive because of that, you know, it's mm. it's it's been ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of um, really big things happened and are happening, mm-hmm. and I think right now I, I really it feels like a shame that I haven't shared it with the world yeah, um, a lot. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. for sure, you know, there's still even bigger things coming, and yeah. I'm really excited to to yeah. let so guys in. actually. W- on on that note, right? I think I tricked him to coming here because he did. because I really think Chaba really really this is, you know like we you know your friends you know people who are close yeah. to you know like the achievements you 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 you've had and made you know in the in in, in you know in the past few months this sure. year basically yeah. and unfortunately every time you speak to somebody like hey you know Chaba the guy this guy you know my friend yeah. this and that he's done this and that it's like but. You know, you need to, to share to, to it with the people. No, but, for sure. Really, really, it's big stuff. Yeah. It's big things that you've been doing. And it's inspirational also, you mm, know, mm. Um, to, to, to the young people out there. You know what I yeah. mean? That it's possible. You know what I mean? No, absolutely. So please, uh, absolutely. The future in the future, share more. And then even if you need more, you know, assistance yeah. or help, 
you know, let me know, bro. I really want to, to assist Definitely. in covering the things that yeah. you are doing because I really think you're going far, bro. No, I really appreciate that, yeah. man. And I yeah. think um, the one thing that I can share now is that uh, so uh, the season, the 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 national racing series, the extreme festival, that championship, that is done. Okay. But we have one more race. Okay. And this is like the the vibes they are going to be crazy. So. Come along um, uh, fire with the family. It will be on the 16th of December. Okay. So okay. that is the Kailami nine hour. Okay. We'll be racing for nine hours. Mm. Ongoing. Mm. Mm. Um, four drivers though, so I'm not literally behind the wheel for four, four yeah, yeah, for yeah, nine yeah. hours. But yeah, yeah. Um, the entire race is nine hours. And because of that sort of vibe, Bryce stands, mm. hang out with the family, mm. have a sit up with the boys, yeah. have some drinks and enjoy some racing. So... Um, come through 16th of December at Kyle Army and yeah, yeah we, most we'll, definitely, have, we'll have a ball most definitely uh, sure. 16th of December that's where we at guys yeah. I really appreciate Sichaba really appreciate my I brother. appreciate you for, for getting me out of the house man and, and yeah. coming to um Enjoy yeah. BMWs. Yeah. Yes. You, you know, yeah, this, this is where it all started, actually. This is where it all started, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is where yeah, it all yeah. started. Yeah, guys. So, nonetheless, look. I've also been very absent with content and all of that. And, you know, today doing this, mm. it, it's, it feels so good. And I'm like, oh, why are we not doing this, guys? Yeah. You know, and I think in, going forward, I just want to be authentic. I just want to share, you know, myself and the things we do. And most of the times we are around cars. Like, I mean, now, Sachawa mm. went to go look for parts. I'm also looking yeah. for parts, you know. <laughs> and, you know, and, and it's, it's a lot of things that we do behind the scenes with our cars, especially Sachawa with his E36, myself with the E30. The E30. There's always something to be done. Mm. And it's, it's actually enjoyable, you know what I mean? Because really with these newer cars, unfortunately, you don't get to do much with them because you know what mm. uh but with those older cars like yeah. literally you, you you can do anything yeah, with these ones so. is either they're too expensive or it needs like some super high expertise yeah. to yeah. to do so yeah yeah no, and i sure. think that's the other reason why if you look at it like the older cars that market the pricing on mm. these uh Bit, getting a bit out of hand you it's, know what it's I mean? getting out of hand for yeah. sure so for sure. yeah i think everyone is remembering <laughs> that cars were actually so good back then yeah you yeah, know? yeah 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 they were so simple yet they were so good and i, I think you know from around there the e30 e36 uh like late 80s early 90s mid 90s from there i think you have the perfect balance of analog yeah and the actual car that doesn't feel like it's going to kill you, you know, because yeah. when you go too old ish, yeah, yeah, you can yeah, feel what yeah. I this, no, no, this, no, 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 no. this is, I think, yeah. a card on, on wheels with, with an engine. But in that era, like the cars became cars, you know, but yeah. they were still simple enough that you, you can work on them yourself, you still enjoy them. Yeah. Yeah. And also on that note, bro, I must say your car, I haven't seen it in a long time and it's it's looking uh, it's looking good. You know, there's always one, two, three yes, to do yes. when you were telling me you want to do one, two, three. But it's 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 so nice to see an old thirty year old car guys yeah. in 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 stock form fine but looking clean like you can mm. literally see that you know what the owner of this car is really taking good care of it you know hence i say uh let's save the older cars yes right okay save with that said guys cars. we're just going to now probably go take a few pictures of our cars and all of that yeah. but yeah definitely uh look forward to giving you guys more content and also i'd really appreciate if you guys share what you would like to see and then so forth i think that makes it easier for me you know because making content is yeah uh it yeah. is fun it's you know it, it's many things but it is fun no, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. It's fun. But I think also, you also want to do or make, you know, videos that people would like to exactly. see. So, which exactly. is, it's better if you guys share yeah. what you'd like to see and I'll make sure no, that it happens. Sure. Yeah, guys. So, see you later then. Cheers. Peace.